Hey, what's up, guys? I've got a quick unboxing here for you. This is going to be the Joker Steelbook from Best Buy. This is the 4K Blu-ray and digital copy edition. This is um, this cover. I'm not a. It's kind of grown on me a little bit. I didn't like it when I first saw it, but I don't. I don't mind it now. I guess it's kind of a interesting design. But there's the front and the spine there. I actually do like the spine with Joker written out like that versus um, just the regular way. It actually, I have um, the 4K here. And you see how it's the normal way it's written, you know, just uh, upright like that. But I kind of like it like that, so it'll look nice on the shelf. So that's kind of cool. Last nice little cool touch. Uh, so yeah, it looks like there's no dings in it, so I'm just going to go ahead and open it up quick. Um, I got this on Saturday, but I, I'm, not, I'm not sitting down to do an uh, unboxing here until Monday night before it's actually released. Um, it's funny, it's what, uh, it, the, my, the Steelbook was actually shipped to me on Friday, and I got it on Saturday. That's like the second time that's happened. I always like when that happens, because I just assumed when it shipped on Friday, I was going to get it until Tuesday. But, um, you know. Um, like I said, I don't see any dings. Actually, I don't think I see a spine splash either. Right there? Yeah, that's cool. And on the spine, actually, there's a DC logo and a Warner Bros. logo, and there's no 4K or Blu-ray logo, so that's kind of nice. It looks like there's just two pieces of tape, I must say tape, two pieces of glue. That's easy peasy. Get that off of there. There's the back, the iconic scene of him standing on the steps. There's some more glue there. Like that. It's definitely very glossy and shiny. So that's cool. Hold on a second while I get the coat out. And it's two discs with the uh, the 4K on the front and the Blu-ray the Blu-ray behind it. The 4K is uh, red disc and the uh, regular Blu-ray is black. I, I can't speak today for some fucking reason. The Blu-ray is a black disc, and there's a picture of him putting on his makeup at the beginning of the film. Very cool. And there is a shot of the entire the back and the front there. Not bad. I wish it. I kind of wish you didn't have this here. It just said Joker, but you know, I guess that's fine to have the names there. I just, I prefer that artistic look to it. But that's fine. I'm not complain too much. I think this was thirty. I'm assuming it's the same price they always are, thirty-four ninety-nine. We got some glue on here now. So yeah, very cool. Let's take a look at the uh, synopsis and stuff here. And you can pause that. I'm assuming everyone's seen unboxing of these now. But a uh, winner of the Golden Lion Best Film. And actually, today is the what is it, the sixth? The day after the Golden Globes. And if you haven't noted, I didn't didn't hear, he won for Best uh, Actor. So that's cool. I don't know if they won anything else. Uh, they were up for a couple more, but uh, I don't think they won anything besides him for Best Actor. Oh no, that's not true. Uh, even better, actually. Uh, the score won. Uh, Hilder. Uh, Grimm's uh, Grill, Grill Daughter, I think her name was. I can't pronounce it. It's Icelandic, I believe. But uh, the woman who uh, did the score, she also won for best uh, score, which was awesome. Very well deserved, in my opinion. But anyway, there's the special features. There's a making of, some scenes and stuff. I think there's some uh, yeah, alternate takes and some behind-the-scenes stuff and some uh, deleted scenes. I haven't checked those out yet, but I was going to do that uh, probably later tonight or tomorrow. And then there's some scenes and stuff. Cool stuff. But yeah, I have watched it again since I saw it in the theater, and I still like the film. It's not bad. Um, I don't think it's... Uh, well, I don't want to get into a whole debate about it. It's, it's a good film. I enjoy it. It's a very interesting commentary. Um, he's not a character to be exactly idolized, in my opinion, but he's a character that should be uh, interesting. It's an interesting character. I really hope they don't make any more of these. I think that it wouldn't make any sense. For the, for the character and how it ended and stuff. I mean, I can see how you would say that. And actually, looking at this, I wish they didn't have the the credits there, but, you know, they always do that, but, you know. See, so, yeah, I, I hope this is a standalone, but uh, who knows what'll happen. Uh, so, yeah. And is it actually... It's not terribly fingerprinty, is it? It's not that bad. I've seen way worse. It's, it's probably because it's not black, but uh, not so bad. Okay. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, I also...
I'll tell you if I've got anything else coming. I don't think I've got anything specific coming for the rest of the month. There might be a few things here and there, but I don't know. Maybe this is it until the uh, end of the month. So if that's it, I guess I'll see you at the end of the month. So Or next month, I guess. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you again later. Enjoy Joker out on Tuesday, the uh, 7th of January, because it's January 2020 now. All right, bye.